All right, guys, today I'm going to do something a little bit fun. Uh, let's talk about teams. I really do like a lot of team books because, you know, you get that dynamic and usually sisterhood or brotherhood, and that's always so fun. And then you just get a lot of bickering, and that also brings a lot of joy to me when I'm reading it. But today, I really wanted to talk about some really cool DC Comics team books. And before I really get into it, I want you to list your favorite team books below because... To me, I'm always interested to see what really resonates with people in terms of team books. It could be multiple of the same team. So for my list, I kind of had Justice League and then I just picked one form of the Justice League. But you can pick as many as you want. And let's just dive right into it and see what choices I picked for the best team books of DC Comics. I'm going to start my list with Young Justice because it was really hard to decide between Teen Titans and Young Justice to make my top five. But Young Justice just overall left a bigger imprint on me for the fun that I had reading it. Now, don't get me wrong. There is some good Teen Titan books out there, obviously, but none ever resonated with me beyond just the cool team battles and some banter and team dynamic. And one big thing that worked in its favor for Young Justice is it brought a bunch of new characters that I've never heard of that I've come to enjoy a lot like Secret and Arrowette. So I also just love the dynamic between Tim, Connor, and Bart. I think it's just really fun in here whereas a lot of the Teen Titans later on of them bickering and fighting over each other. And I have to say one of my favorite things is the over the top fun art of the late 90s to the early 2000s. That was a big plus for me because I love the over exaggerated kind of cartoony art instead of the more realistic art that it goes to more later in the other Teen Titans series. And I even enjoyed the resurrection of this team by Bendis. It wasn't as good, but it was still fun and I had a good time reading it and the art is gorgeous. So it's not prolific or known as Teen Titans was, but this team itself just became one of my favorites as I read the entire series from Peter David. So my number four choice is Justice League Europe and International. While many will probably pick Justice League of America, such as Morrison's run or Wade's run or even John's run as their definitive team for the Justice League, which is awesome and, and I can see that, International and Europe just sealed the deal for me when I read those omnibuses. They are extremely funny with awesome team chemistry, some excellent story beats, and fantastic art from the late 80s and early 90s. Honestly, the only other Justice League team for me that came close to actually really getting absorbed in these teams was the Justice League Dark by Tinian and Ram V. In the end though, this one just had the heart over that series for me. Easily the team I got most attached to for the Justice League brand, despite also really enjoying some other ones out there, this one just stood out as one of my favorite team books of all time. Next up is Birds of Prey by Gail Simone, and her version of these characters are fantastic. Because I'll be honest, when I was first reading this team by Dixon, Chuck Dixon, I was really wondering what people saw in this team. They were hailing it as one of the best ever, and I was just like, eh, it's okay, it's just another team up book. However, once Gail Simone decided to take it over, she gave this team a family like dynamic, this sisterhood that just worked really well with black canary on the field with huntress and oracle giving them leader like mentality of mission objectives and handling the cyber world part of this group together they just started forming almost a sisterly bond and even when the team grew with other members the core members just still felt intact Overall, the end of this run is a little shaky, but honestly, 85 to 90% of this run is super, super fun. And sometimes that's all I want in a team book. Number two is The Outsiders. John Winnick run on these characters is probably the most interesting to me. We had a bit of a darker Nightwing dealing with losing so much at this point in his life and trying to keep his team intact after just losing close ones in the prior series, Titans. This was also more of like an undercover style mission, almost Black Ops, that gave it a fresh feeling that I just wasn't expecting. With a team dynamic including Nightwing, Arsenal, Jade, Indigo, Thunder, and much more. This time, Nightwing decided to strike first instead of being a reactive team to the bad guys, giving it a bit more of an edge, you know, that 2000s edge that we all love, or at least I do. And that change made for a far more interesting approach than I ever expected. Overall, some really good stuff if you like slightly darker takes than most of these other ones on my list. And we're going to end my list with Secret Six. More so than even Suicide Squad, this run, again, by Gail Simone, is 
phenomenal. It's a great cast of characters, including Catman, Deadshot, Ragdoll, Scandal Savage, and more. And this is both hilarious and just jam-packed with also some brutal action. You know, I love to see that. This team is <laughs> dysfunctional at best. That's the at, at best. And at worst, they're hilarious. Made up of all these different villains, pretty much. And somehow, they try to do good things. Well, sometimes anyway. This formed as a side piece in the Infinite Crisis event, and then spinned over to its own series, The Secret Six, which isn't only one of my favorite team books of all time, I think it's one of the most overlooked books in DC history. If you haven't checked out the series, please, please go right now and pick up the books or go on DC Infinite and read these as quick as possible. It's snappy, it's fun, it's dark at times, and all the wonderful things that I love in comics. Secret Six is a must read. That is my list. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun making this. I am going to make a team list for Marvel because they have some really cool teams as well. But remember to list yours below in DC Universe. I want to see some really cool ones that I probably didn't forget, but they didn't quite make my top five. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that big ass like button, or it's a small like button, but hit it anyway. That means a lot to me. Hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more nerdy stuff coming out. Go read some comics, and everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful 